Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to make another filling up video. Today I'm going to fill up this Opus 88. It is an Opus 88 demo pen. The pen was sent to me by Apple Boom for review purposes. And I think this pen, uh, I, th I think it is an interesting pen and I, because it is an eyedropper, I'll show you how to fill it. Although I have showed you how to fill other eyedroppers before. I will fill this pen with this ink, which is a Montegrappa green ink. And it is an ink that was sent to me by Montegrappa also. So I'm going to use things that the brands sent to me, the brands or the stores. So this was from Apple Boom. And we take the outer sleeve, then we open this black box. We have the instructions here. We have the pen and we have the eyedropper, which makes sense because if this is an eyedropper pen, let's fill it with an eyedropper. Some don't have an eyedropper and some others have kind of a pipette or even a syringe. This has a real glass eyedropper. So, what we have to do first, we have to get the bottle of ink, take these out, these papers and stuff, put them away. We have here the green ink from Montegrappa, this is a nice ink, I already tried it in other pens and let's open these and try not to move the hands too much. To do not have any accidents. Now the pen is here. This is a blue, uh, greenish transparent pen. It is the Opus 88 demo and I'll show it to you. It has this very classical shape. I would say it reminds us of a, a vintage Parker the Fold because of very simple design. Uh, these are the fibers from the burlap here. The pen hasn't been inked, so the first thing I would just do is to check if the nib is stuck in place. This nib, um, you can take it out by unscrewing and it is fixed. Another thing that it's useful to see if, is if the bottom of the barrel is snugly on place. Yes, it is. And now the pen is ready to be filled. You just have to unscrew the barrel and you can see that this pen has a rubber a ring there to avoid ink leakage. So usually for eyedroppers I would advise you to put some silicone grease on the threads. This time I will not do it. I think I should but I will not do it because in the instructions, they don't talk about it. They just say to fill it and that the uh, O-ring will take care of any leakage. We'll see. And, uh, and I think I, sh I, I will try to do it following the instructions. But if I was not doing that, just for video purposes, I would be uh, making the, the sealing with some silicone grease here and also on the thread of the nib and feed collar. So what you have to do, I showed you this before, you have to put some ink inside your eyedropper and I will not fill this to the top because uh, it will take forever to empty this pen. One thing I have to show you about this pen and let me put the eyedropper here. I think I'll make a mess of it. Um, if you can see, um, this pen has this seal. It, it has some kind of a rod here that you can retract when you unscrew the bottom of the pen. And this, this makes like a seal. It is a shut off valve to avoid the ink to spill from the section, which is nice. If you close this, it will only write with the ink it still has 
in the section and no more ink inside the barrel will spill into the nib or out of the nib. So that is a nice feature. And uh, it is an extra protection when you have an eyedropper pen. And now let's put the ink inside. You have that rod of the that makes the seal, but you don't care about it, and you just put the ink inside the pen because I put the I dropper there. I think now I have ink inside of this rubber ink part of part of the pen, so I have to wash it out. But the pen has some ink inside now. Not much. I think you can see the level there. Maybe you don't. It's not that easy. But it has ink now inside. And now let's just put the section back in place. It is that simple. Usual, usually on the eyedroppers, the section threads are very tight and long to avoid ink to get away from there. So now let's close this. Let's put the eyedropper aside and we have ink inside the pen. So what we have to do now for the pen to write? Because the, this part is totally tightened, this seal, this shut-off valve is closed and now no ink goes into the section. So you have to unscrew these a little just to allow the ink to flow into the section, into the feed and nib. And then the pen will be ready to write. Maybe not yet because the ink needs time to get into the nib and maybe you have to hold the pen like this, the nib down, to allow the ink to, to flow and now it, it, it is already working. So this is the Opus 88 demo fountain pen that we got from Apple Boom. It's keeping a little. Let's see. From Apple Boom, which is an online store on the Netherlands. And thank you for sending the pen for review. Um, I think this this was just an initial skipping, but we'll see. I have to use this pen to test it, and then I will make a review to show what I think about it. So I hope you liked the video. I think it is. I hope it is useful to see how to fill up a um, eyedropper pen that has a shut off valve. Not much different, but just to know what to do it. Uh, when you close the pen and you have to transport it, you close this shut-off valve again and cap the pen and no ink will spill out of the barrel and the pen will be ready to write next time. This is all for today. I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel and see you next video. Bye.